Hi reception, story time. You have worked so hard all week. I'm so, so impressed with you and so is Miss Phillips for all the hard work you did for her yesterday because you normally have her on a Thursday, don't you? So we are so impressed. We hope you have a lovely weekend. We thought we'd end our week with a story. And I've got The Night Pirates. And The Night Pirates is by Peter Harris and Deborah Allwright. Remember we said they're the authors. They write the stories. And let's have a little look at our blurb. It says, all aboard for a nighttime adventure. When dark shadows come stealing down Tom's bedroom walls, he thinks it might be monsters or ogres or trolls. But the truth is much stranger. It's pirates and very unusual pirates at that. What do they want with the front of Tom's house? And where are they going? Tom is about to find out. Shall we find out? I think so. Down, down, down the dark, dark street they came. Quiet as mice, stealthily as shadows. Up, up, up the dark, dark house they climbed. Stealthily as shadows, quiet as mice. It's night time, only the seagulls watching. It's, it's night time. Only the moon was watching them when they arrived. Only the moon was watching them when they left. Only the moon and one little boy. Tom was a nice little boy. Tom was a brave little boy. Tom was a little boy about to have an adventure. There's Tom. There's Tom's cat. Look, Tom's drawn a picture of his cat. Like, we've been drawing pictures of animals this week. Who were these shadows as quiet as mice, stealing away with the front of Tom's house? Maybe monsters or trolls or ogres or gremlins. Mm, I wonder. Maybe bandits or pirates. Pirates? That does look like a shadow of a pirate, doesn't it? Got the pirate hat. Pirates. Rough, tough little girl pirates with their pirate ship. A ship set for sailing, a ship off on adventures, a ship stealing the front of Tom's house for disguise. But what about Tom? Could he join the crew? Please, let me aboard. Can I come too? Oh, I had to turn my book upside down. There's the little girl pirates. There's Tom in his window. Ooh. And did the girl captain say, certainly not, you're only a boy. Oh no, not at all. Instead she roared, welcome aboard. Then up went the sails and up went the flag. Then off sailed the rough, tough little girl pirates. The little girl pirates and their shipmate, Tom. But where were they going? There's the captain. There's their ship. To an island where Captain Patch and his really tough rough grown-up pirates were snoozing around their full treasure chest then pirate patch saw something something very strange something very strange indeed there's their ship the little girl pirates there's captain patch and his rough tough grown-up pirates are having a sleep what could he see a house sailing towards them getting closer and closer a house sailing towards them with a little boy waving hello. I've seen a house, Captain Patch declared. We've all seen houses, said the pirates. Who cares? Don't just lie there. Do something, Captain Patch roared. But the pirates went back to sleep and just snored. While the house sailed nearer and nearer until... Because they've disguised their ship as Tom's house, haven't they? Out leapt the girl pirates, and out leapt Tom, and out leapt a fearsome roar. The pirates gaped, the pirates goggled, then the pirates all ran away. Oh, they're scared of the little girl pirates. So Tom and the girl pirates sailed away with the treasure, while the rough, tough, grown-up pirates hid in the trees. Captain Patch stamped his feet and shouted his worst pirate curse. If you don't give me my treasure back, I'll tell my mum. But off they sailed, all the way home. There's all the pirates hiding in the trees. Captain Patch is sad, and there's Tom's house. Well, the pirate ship disguised as Tom's house. Down, down, down the dark, dark street they came, quiet as mice, stealthily as shadows. Up, up, up the dark, dark house they climbed, stealthily as shadows, as quiet as mice. 
Only the moon was watching them when they arrived. Only the moon was watching them when they left. Only the moon. Tom was a brave little boy. Tom was a sleepy little boy. Tom was a boy who had had an adventure. And no one would ever find out. Tom's gone back to sleep. Oh, apart from their house is upside down. Maybe somebody will find out. Would they? Mm, it's definitely upside down, isn't it? Well done, superstars. You have impressed me so much this week. I'm so pleased with everything you've been doing. And I'm looking forward to next week. Have a lovely weekend. Stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.